Hi all, welcome to part 2 of this SBC squad rating formula video where we explain furthermore what was touched in the first video, what Nepenthe has explained in his video and also what Matt HD covered in his video. This video will basically cover the basic squad formula and what to kind of set out when you build any SBC squad in future and keep this in mind for future reference. So smash the likes, sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at GRLegend. All the links are down below, let's get into the video guys. So what is the basic set formula for an SPC squad or any squad in general? Well it's took a bit of digging but the actual basic set formula as it follows is 2 times X, X being the desired rating so if you're aiming for in this instance a 64 rated squad you would have 2 64 rated players. From there you would need 8 times 1 minus X of that desired rating so we have 8, eight 63 rated players and then you'd have 1 times 4 minus x of that desired rating giving you a 60 rated player and then once you've done all the maths and added all the players in you should have 2 64s, 8 63s and 1 60 rated giving you a 64 rated squad so how does this in example work? for what I've gathered the 64 rated players the only reason why you need 2 or 2 of the desired rating is because of the kind of like averages, standard deviations, medians, modes, all this kind of mathematical breakdown. It's kind of like what you would learn of algorithms in high school if you're old enough yet in theory really or if you didn't really do maths to uh, like, like, a, like depending where you are in like the UK or America or whatever in the world if you didn't learn like algorithms or certain kind of like standard deviations and medians then you won't 100% fully grasp, grasp this as it were but in theory all you ever need to keep in full premise guys when you do an SBC squad is keep 2 of the desired rating that you're setting out to achieve you only need 8 times 1 less than that desired rating and then 1 of someone that's 4 ratings under and it will work no matter what guys when you go to build a squad it's not something they will patch, it's not something they will fix it is kind of a set algorithm of mathematics so the people that have done this are mathematicians, programmers etc they all have made sure that this mathematically works to a set T and like I have checked for other formula examples like, um, one example that I had found was 2 times 7 times 2 and however this one is kind of a funny example but also it has kind of a ceiling as it were um, if you want to build an 84 rated squad with it 2 times 7 times 2 um, you would need 2 times 85 2 times 84 uh, 7 times 84 sorry and 2 times 64 this gives you your, 80, uh, your 84 rated squad and when you try and um, use that 2 times 7 times 2 example it does not work fully with other um, ratings it gives you a completely different um, breakdown so that is how I found that 2 times 8 times 1 is the only logistical breakdown and it's the only set formula that is deemed 100% basic now through this video you will see other examples of formulas uh, the reason I've done this is just to kind of show how far you can actually stretch the squad formula but just to also show you if you needed to try out other formulas that um, well you have a basic formula there is advanced formulas out there and I think with an 85 rate squad you can stretch it so far um, that you can put silvers in same as far as you go up to like an 86 to an 89 rated squad you can do everything under the sun to make it work you can throw bronze players into high rated squads and they will still work but keep this in mind though guys that the 2 times 8 times 1 um, will always work it depends on what route you want to take and how you want to build the um, squad like 2 times 8 times 1 for all the squads I've built so far has proven to be the cheapest route and I don't know if that is just through luck or through anything but it seems to be for what I've noticed and when you do other formulas um, of a squad the route just seems to have a much more expensive route as it were 
whether it be if you're putting like a silver in form or bronze in form, the cost of that bronze or silver in form, for example, seems to work out about the same cost of a player of a certain range. So it could be if you're building a 85 rated squad and you're putting in two silver in forms. I've noticed that the two silver informed are just as expensive as putting in one, say, 85 or 184 rated player. It kind of just defeats the purpose almost. Um, with like this 87 rated squad, for example, I've got three 88 rated players, uh, sorry, four 88 rated players, um, two 87s, three 86, and then we have an 83 and an 81 just to give us the desired rating. And it's just kind of a crazy way to do it, but it, it works. Like I have tried easily 10, 15 formulas um, that kind of fall into like there's like one basic, then everything else is like advanced because of how the mathematical breakdown works, guys. Like so, when you want to build any of the SBC squads in future, um, always keep in mind of two times eight times one. Now I'll just keep showing examples just to kind of reiterate it. Like this 88 rated squad has a 73 rated in form. Um, you could easily put the 73 normal card in um, if it doesn't say suggest an in form because remember because of foot miss for example the in form for silvers have in essence proved useful. So if when it comes to a normal SBC like say play of the month it doesn't need an in form the way you can stretch this out could be a 73 normal card suddenly saves you 15,000 coins and it could make a significant difference down the end of the line but in reality it's a very uncertain but also unsure risk of how to do it like even an 89 rated squad can push the boundaries of a 74 the furthest extreme I have tested is a 90 rated squad can have a bronze in it and if you put the same parameter you've got to kind of put different parameters you have to have like 192, 193, several 91s and you, you play it a bit harder and you make sure that the lowest rated player is just the bronze and it can be the lowest I've noticed it can, you can put like a 40 rated bronze in and it gives you still a 90 rated squad it is kind of like insane it's such a massive difference that it works um, but all in all, this um, squad formula I hope kind of addresses every single issue that's kind of been niggling out there in terms of where does the basic maths kind of fall into place. Um, like, 89 squad has 5 89s, 4 88s, an 85 and an 74, and it works to a T. Like, this 90 rated squad kind of falls back into a line of the 90 rated um, specification which is two 90s, 8 89s and an 86 and it works to a T guys. But all in all I feel um, SBCs now might just prove a lot easier to kind of not just understand and explain but how to actually do them and I feel the formula videos kind of just taking a lot longer than, us to, than all of us to prepare in terms of where, uh, how to actually break it down and what's deemed an easy enough route and I hope you find this really really useful like I'm delighted that um, 2 times 8 times 1 for me is working to a T and it just makes squad builder challenges so much easier to do so leave a like comment down below if you have found any of our formulas that have proven really useful for you because it's good to compare notes and see what's working and what's not so follow me on twitter at gislegend sub to the channel if you're new and I will catch you guys all later for more FIFA 17 content.